how are you all doing welcome to my UCAS application timeline I'm gonna go through the dates of all my offers and rejection and basically give you a guide on how long it took for each offer to come through first of all my UCAS application got sent to the school on the 10th of October and it was received by UCAS on the 12th and that was to hit the deadline of 15th October now if you're applying for Cambridge specifically natural sciences you've got an entrance exam to do which is called the NSAA natural sciences admissions assessment and the deadline to enter for that is also 15th October which I just thought I'd put into the timeline anyways uh, if you're applying to Cambridge you also need to do something called the SAQ which is a sort of extension on your personal statement it gives Cambridge a little bit more info such as why Cambridge specifically and the deadline for that is the 22nd of October Coincidentally, 22nd October is the same day that Newcastle University, just Newcastle, reached out to me to ask for my passport. I mean, I don't know why, let's just uh, get the email up. Uh, so it says, so that we can correctly determine your fee status, can you please provide a copy of your passport? I think you cast thought I'm an illegal immigrant. Nah, I, I don't know what that's about, but still. 22nd October, Newcastle asked for my passport. And then five days later, on the 27th of October, Newcastle gave me an offer for ABB, I think. Yep, so on the 27th of October, Newcastle gave me an offer for ABB. So that was five days after they asked for my passport and 15 days after UCAS received my application. So on the 6th of November, I actually got an email from Imperial saying yeah we're a bit lazy there's actually a lot of people applying so we're gonna have to wait a bit longer you know can't be blaming us now that we sent you this email i'll actually show you it there we go so on the 6th of november we aim to consider applications as quickly as possible since we typically receive blah 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 blah, blah maybe several weeks yeah so they're just saying all right we're gonna warn you right now you might be waiting quite some time so i got my email invitation for interviews at cambridge on the 2nd of december my last video i said 5th or 6th apologies for that and in that email you can see my interview was on the 15th now on the 20th of january i got my offer from imperial for a star a star a i think yeah a star in maths a star a in physics chemistry bio and then 25th january is when all cambridge applicants are notified whether they were accepted and got an offer or rejected so 25th january was a rejection 26th January was an offer from King's. If you have a look over here, King's, my offer is AAC. Bit of an odd offer, but you know, I'll take it. Now on the 3rd of February, I got a very interesting email. Uh, I think almost everyone who applied to UCL got this email, actually. Uh, I think it gave quite a few of us heart palpitations, but it was basically saying, we're delighted you've applied. By the way, this is so big because the title is your application to UCL. It's certainly got a lot of people going. Even greater number of applicants to study than anticipated. It's taken longer to review them all. Yeah, and they also basically said, just like Imperial, yeah, we're going to take a lot longer. And then exactly a week later, on the 10th of February, I got my, oh, that's the rejection. I got my offer from UCL for AAA, which is going to be my insurance. And actually, you know what? Live on camera, I'm going to firm my choices. Because why not? I know I've got until June, but I'm just going to do it now. Apply to your offers. I've got 112 days. Think carefully. Yeah, I ain't got to think at all. Imperial, make this my firm choice. That's right. Continue. Um, your firm choice will be Imperial College London. You're expected to enrol if you meet the conditions. Yes, please. Get me that Woodward accommodation. Just please. Insurance is a second choice. It should be used as a backup. You'll only get the opportunity to attend if you're not accepted on firm and you meet the conditions of insurance have to have insurance choice you don't have to okay i am about to make ucl my insurance choice that's right continue so please review your replies firm choice imperial insurance ucl following offers will be declined newcastle and kings i've got to make sure that I'm, I'm seeing this right you know could be clicking on some random stuff right now gotta make sure it's right firm choice imperial insurance ucl I think that's right send your reply your choices your firm imperial your insurance ucl there we go there we go let's go boys let's go all right and that was that i really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some insight into how long it can take you needs to reply anyways have a good one